Okay, before the 416 came along, the guns that were being used for CQB purposes was the M4 carbine with a 14 and a half inch barrel and also the MP5. And the issue there is the M4 is a great gun and it did very well in the role, except it's a little bit too big. The theory is you need a gun that's a little bit more compact, a little bit more towards the size of an MP5 for CQB for confined spaces. Now, if you go back to the MP5, great gun, but remember it's a nine millimeter caliber weapon, meaning you're, you're basically shooting a large select fire, easy to shoot nine millimeter pistol. So there need to be something that kind of bridged the gap. Now, I knew enough about weapons design to know what was really required was a short barreled weapon with a piston operating system. So when I went over to Germany on the ill-fated HK 1911 project, it really went nowhere, and I was in Ernst Malk's office, a good man who was the CEO of HK at the time. I saw he had a, a blueprint on the wall, and his vision was to make an improved M4. I knew there was a silver lining in there that if I could get on board with HK at the time, when developing an essentially an improved M4 or an M4 with a G36 style gas system, I could ultimately end up with a gun that I really wanted or that we really wanted in the organization I was in, which was a shorter barreled formatted M4 style rifle with a gas piston operating system that would be ideal for confined spaces. And eventually it led to the production run of the 416, which is where we see it today. Now there's been tweaks along the line, but the gun is still essentially the same as it was. It came out in roughly 2004. I'm uh, very proud of the fact that the gun has seen widespread use and has been involved in some very, very famous special operations missions within just the last couple years. All right, TAC TV fans, I got Robbie Reedsma here, HK Defense here in the United States. He's gonna take us through the differences between a 10.4 inch HK 416D. This is the full auto gun used by law enforcement and military and an HK MR 556A1, the civilian legal version of the 416. Robbie? Thank you, Larry. The, uh, the HK 416, um, basically it's a uh, gas operated short stroke piston uh, design. We'll start off by opening up the free floating rail system on the fore end. There's a, uh, a screw right here that basically locks that into position. Once that screws out, you can slide your rail system right off the front. And then you're going to have your gas block right here. Uh, inside your gas block is going to be a gas piston, which is right here, and then a operating rod or a pusher rod. What this is doing is this is allowing uh, about 90%, 95% of your hot carbon fouling and everything to go right out the front of the gun. And what this is doing is this is actually keeping your bolt carrier back here, your, your working group, uh, your bolt head, uh, a lot cleaner, carbon free with less, uh, less heat transfer. And this is real easy to take down. Um, it's simply you're, you're taking the operating rod out and then your gas piston out. Uh, those two components are easily switched out, easy to clean, easy to get to. Inside your, uh, your upper receiver, you're gonna have your bolt carrier. Uh, and your bolt carrier looks like what's common on an M4 or an M16. The big difference is actually gonna be, basically it's all one piece bolt carrier and it's a hardened anvil striking surface right there where my finger's at. Um, that's allowing a, a, a lot more ruggedized version, uh, so the top of this is not gonna shear off, uh, which is common when you'll actually pin, uh, pin that on. Good deal, now if you would, take us into the MR556, show the similarities and the differences. So the MR556A1 uh, is basically the commercial equivalent to the HK416. That's gonna come with a 16 and a half inch barrel length like you see right here. Uh, nine inch free floating rail system, still got the adjustable butt stock. And most importantly, it's got the, uh, the short stroke gas piston operation. So your internals are, as far as the operating system go, are identical to the HK416. We've got the, the barrel, uh, which is a 16 and a half inch barrel. It's just available in that one length. Um, I'm gonna undo the, the screw to the uh, free floating rail system. And one of the things you're gonna see when we take off that handguard um, is you're gonna see a bigger barrel profile. Uh, what we did is we increased the barrel profile on here, so that way it's, uh, it's gonna lend itself to a more accurate system. Also, the barrel on the MR556 is not chrome line, uh, so that increases the accuracy as well. One of the differences on the buttstock is that there's a tool in the back of the buttstock, um, so you can twist your buttstock plate open. You can take this, uh, this Allen wrench out, and you can actually use this to lock your buttstock in a position. Using that same tool that's coming out of your buttstock, uh, you actually push in on that, 
and that's going to allow that to actually come out or you're going to push on it and it'll allow it to close again. What that push pin is doing on the uh, upper and lower receiver connection points is that is actually allowing a completely solid lockup between your upper and lower receiver so that there's no play, no wobble in there. And that's, again, going back to the accuracy, it's increasing the uh, stability of the system uh, into one solid gun. Now, also one of the things I want to point out we were talking about on camera is the ability for this gun to go on safe with the hammer forward, which is unlike other M16 AR style weapon systems. Yes, absolutely. The gun's charged and it's clear. It's it's on fire right now. Pull the trigger, goes goes click, but yet we can still swip our uh, click the uh, selector right back over it on onto safe, even though the the trigger's already been pulled. Now, next thing we're going to do here, uh, we're going to get a mil spec lower. I have a Bravo Company lower that our good friend Paul at Bravo sent us. And we're going to put this upper on the Bravo Company lower and light it up. Stand by for that. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.